Hi, welcome to our today's topic. Today we are going to discuss the topic potentiometric titration that is from the first module electroanalytical chemistry. What do you mean by a potentiometric titration? Potentiometric titration is a volumetric method in which the potential between two electrodes is measured as a function of the added reagent polyp. Then our aim is to find the concentration of a one of the solution by titrating against other solution. For example, if we are titrating acid against base, here we are directly titrating an acid against a base without using any extra reagent or any indicators. Here, our basic aim is to find the concentration of one of the solution by knowing its potential. That is the technique and that is the type of titration is known as potentiometric titration. There are different types of potentiometric titration, acid-based potentiometric titration, redox titration, precipitation titration and complexometric titration. These are the different types of potentiometric titration. The basic principle of potentiometric titration is Nernst equation. According to the Nernst equation, that is potential of an electrode or potential of an cell that is depends on the concentration of ion, which is reversible. That is the basic principle of potentiometric titration. This change in concentration can be followed by measuring the potential of the electrode. The potential of the electrode keep on changing and solves a sudden change in its value at the completion of the reaction. For example, if you titrating an acid against base, for example, HCl against NaOH, there is a neutralization reaction takes place and we form NaCl plus water. And that is the neutralization domain. At that particular form, if a complete neutralization occurs, then there is a sudden change in EMF. Based on that one, we have got a graph that is potential difference versus volume of the added reagent. From the graph, we find the equivalence volume or volume of the titrant required to neutralize the given acid. In the case of acid based potentiometric titration, in that way, we can find the concentration of the unknown solution from the normality equation and that type of titration is known as potentiometric titration that is if a molecule or if a metal ion undergo oxidation or reduction that is m n plus if undergo reduction m n plus plus n electron gives m as the concentration of n n plus changes the emf of the cell also changes accordingly and the overall electrical potential is calculated it is e cell is equal to e indicate minus E reference minus a plus e solution where e solution is the potential drop of the test solution between two electrons and e cell is the electrode potential and e electrode and e in stands for the electrode potential of the indicator electrode e reference stands for the electrode potential of the reference electrode that is the basics of this potentiometric term in this type of potentiometric titration, we use two types of electrode in order to construct a electrochemical cell. And that is known as one of the electrode is known as indicator electrode. That is indicator electrode that indicate that is our indicate the presence of an uh, unknown ion. That type of electrode. For example, if we take an, our aim is to find the concentration of an acid. Here we take the indicator electrode that depends on the concentration of H plus. That is the meaning of indicator electrode and another one is known as reference electrode. That is different types of reference electrode, hydrogen electrode, calomel electrode and silver chloride. These all are the examples of reference electrode. The indicator electrode forms a electrochemical half cells with the interest of ions in the test solution and reference electrode form the other half cell. In that way, we construct a electrochemical cell and the potential of that particular cell depends on the concentration of unknown ion. Based on that one, we can analyze the unknown solution. That is known as potentiometric titration. What is the main advantage of this potentiometric titration? The main advantage of this potentiometric titration is referred to minor titration is more accurate and precise 
and there is more easily adapted to automation and in this way another main difference here we are not using any type of indicators in the potential of titration we directly titrate and as a way against a base or uh, in precipitation titration uh, we titrate two reagents and based on their potential value we can able to find its anode concentration and that is the main advantage of this potentiometric titration next we move on to the details of this acid based potentiometric titration in the acid determine the our main aim of the acid based titration is the determine the strength of given acid by potentiometric titration here in the case of this one here we need two types of electrodes one is indicator electrode that indicates the, here is the aim of to find the concentration of an acid so the indicator electrode that depends on the concentration of acid or the electrode potential of that particular electrode depends on the concentration of H plus ions present in the unknown solution there are different types of um, electrodes that depends on the concentration of H plus simple example is hydrogen electrode that depends on the hydro electrode potential of hydrogen electrode depends on the concentration of H plus then another example is glass electrode the electrode potential of glass electrode depends on the concentration of H plus and here we are in practical application we are using a quin hydron electrode and this quin hydron electrode is another um, electrode that depends on the concentration of H plus that is quin hydron is a equimolar mixture of quinone and hydroquinone employed as H plus system here reversible and it is taken as the indicator electrode and the reference electrode here we are taking the calomel electrode then this quinhedron electrode and calomel electrode that form a electrochemical cell and the electrode potential depends on the concentration of H plus ion for example you can do the details here we take two electrodes one is indicator electrode another one is reference electrode this is our test solution this is our test solution unknown H plus a yeah, acidic solution our aim is to find the concentration of this particular ion this particular solution then we two character is connected to a potential meter then we take a burette that is in the burette we take the titrant or in the, this case we take the NaOH solution or we take a base here this one is the acidic solution and this one is the indicator electrode this one is the reference electrode and it is potentiometry and we we take the titrant or base and here the unknown solution is a acidic solution then we add the bureau from the bureau first we take the bureau we add the NaOH solution at a particular interval then for each addition we not the we, for each addition we not the electrode potential of the what is the change in electrode potential or cell potential or emf of this particular cell again we add the uh, next uh, for example if you are in at an interval of 2 ml then we add the uh, NaOH solution then we note the e change in emf and at nearer to the end point when complete neutralization occur there is a sudden change in emf occur that indicate the uh, equivalence point this is a brief procedure for the estimation of acid based potentiometric titration. We keep the given solution in the 100 ml, 50 or 20 ml of the clean beaker, and pinch of quinone and equine hydrogen is added and place a platinum electrode in the solution connected to a calomel electrode that form a electrochemical cell. Run 2 ml of standard NH from the burette and determine the EMF of the cell at every addition. Then repeat the experiment more carefully by adding point M. That is the first we uh, run a uh, trial run. From the trial run, we find out the interval, particular interval of uh, the change in equivalence point. From the uh, concentrating on that particular range, uh, uh, the repeat the experiment. That is the fair run at a point one ml interval. Then we plot a graph EM of against the volume of the titrant. From the X order curve, this one we get a order curve. From that one, the slope of the curve gives the volume of titrant or volume of the base required to neutralize the given acid. Okay. Another we take the first derivative float that is delta E by delta V against the mean V. Then we get a curve like this. From this one, we stabilizing this one, we get the volume of the titrant. That's a two 
types of graph from the graph we find the volume of tire tread uh, roughly it is volume of NH and the EM of from this one we calculate delta E means E2 minus E1 delta V means corresponding V2 minus V1 mean V and the volume of the mean volume from this curve we get the volume of the NH volume of base is calculated from the uh, potentiometric graph it is m of n is to volume of n h or delta v by delta a is to mean v from that one we find the normality of hcl from the normality equation or we find the concentration of the given asset hope you understood thank you